Are you ready to find out if there are ghosts in Branson, Missouri? Then stay tuned to find out Branson's top haunted places. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the Scary Stories channel for more great upcoming content. Starting out on our list of five is the Branson Scenic Railway. The railway offers train rides through the Ozark Mountains in the Branson area. Many people have reported seeing a passenger standing in one of the train cars late at night as well as early in the morning. This is during times after the sunset and before the sunrise when the train is vacant. It has even been seen by workers of the railway while performing maintenance on the train before operating hours. Some have an idea who might be occupying the train at these times, and they are no longer among the living. A notorious outlaw, train robber, and card shark by the name of Jake Flegel was shot and killed by law enforcement in Branson, Missouri. In 1930, Jake was shot at the train depot, the same location that Branson Scenic Railway operates to this day. Being one of the FBI's 10 most wanted persons, it is said that his soul is still restless. He makes his appearance often, so if you are ever in the Branson area during the twilight hours, get out your camera and head to the depot. You might just get to see firsthand the notorious Jake Flegel. Next up on our list is Dewey Bald Mountain. Dewey Bald Mountain is located within the Ruth and Paul Henning Conservation Area on Highway 76 just outside of Branson, Missouri. There have been numerous reports of apparitions hitchhiking around this area. That might have something to do with the incident that happened on the mountain on December 10th, 1999. A small plane headed from St. Louis to College of the Ozarks in Hollister crashed on Dewey Bald Mountain, killing six people. It is speculated that the doomed passengers are desperately trying to find their way to their final destination. There is no specific time that the supposed spirits make their appearance, but the highway and park are open to the public. If you happen to come across a hitchhiker though, you might just be talking to one of the permanent occupants of the crash site. Up next is the abandoned ghost town of Garber, Missouri. Garber is located approximately four miles northwest of Branson, Missouri along Rourke Creek. Along the railroad, you will find many remains of the old town. Among them is the Garber Post Office building. This is where all of the reports come from. Everyone who has experiences here seem to come back with the same reports. Cold spots and unexplained phantom winds are consistently being experienced. Some have even stated they hear hammering when standing outside the old post office, almost as if the blacksmith is still at work. If you have ever heard of the book, Shepherd of the Hills, Garber is one of the places this story got its start. As known as Old Matt and Aunt Molly in the book, Mr. and Mrs. Ross in real life got their start in the Ozarks as members of the Garber community. Unfortunately, the remains of Garber, Missouri reside on private property. There is no access to the public. This town is nevertheless full of history and stories, though. The most famous story comes from the general store that burnt down in September of 1928. The fire was found to be set by postal assistant Ray Lecomte. He was supposedly trying to destroy evidence from stolen money orders. This is one of the many things that sent Garber spiraling downhill as a thriving community. Now, counting down to our number two spot on the list is the Titanic Museum, located on 76 Highway and Gretna Road in Branson, Missouri. We have heard all the history, seen the documentaries, read about it in history books, and most of us have even seen the new movie. As one of the most infamous shipwrecks in history, the Titanic keeps finding its way into our hearts and minds. The Titanic Museum in Branson. Actually, that's not entirely accurate. It's a living museum, housing the largest collection in the world of real, authentic Titanic artifacts. Yes, that means over 400 genuine Titanic pieces on display. Artifacts that were collected from one of the most frightening nights in history. Over 1,500 souls were lost at sea 
on that night, the Titanic plummeted to its fate. If hauntings or spirits can be attached to an object, this, in my opinion, is the holy grail under one roof. The museum itself has been replicated from the original ship, and you can't possibly miss the gigantic ship sitting on Branson Strip. Also, beware. If you are at the stoplight near the ship, they do have a foghorn that blows and might scare you worse than anything could in the building. Enough said about that. Now to the reports. Constantly workers are cleaning off fingerprints of the glass cases that house the artifacts. Yes, you are right. They get touched by many tourists. But what about when the museum is closed? Workers have arrived for their shift after cleaning the night before only to find that they have to wipe off more fingerprints before the guests arrive. Then, there are the wet footprints and apparitions of people in vintage formal wear. Even if you go on TripAdvisor, you can find people talking about strange appearances in their photos. They say if you go on April 14th or 15th, that's the dates the ship actually hit the iceberg and sank, you have the best chance of witnessing the activity firsthand. In fact, I have only begun to touch the surface of all the claims made at the Branson Titanic Museum. The Ghost Adventures team has visited this place as well, so it's not just on the local radar for activity. The Branson Titanic is open to the public with purchase of a tour. I will put a link to their site in the description. When you start your tour, you will get a boarding pass with a name on it of one of the passengers from the original Titanic. After the self-paced tour, you will find out if you were one of the lucky passengers that made it out alive, or if you are one of the unfortunate souls lost at sea. It is definitely a unique experience that I recommend you visit at least once. I myself have visited numerous times. One time there was definitely a strange feeling on the ship in one particular location in the dark room. Now, I'm not giving any more spoilers as you need to experience this for yourself. Now, the number one spot on the list. As strange as it sounds, this is a two-in-one. Both spots are located in the theme park, Silver Dollar City. The first dates back hundreds of years to the Native Americans. Marvel Cave was first found by the Native Americans, and they believed that the cavern was filled with evil spirits. They believed this so strongly that they carved V's in the trees around the surrounding area, warning everyone to stay away. The V notches in the trees is actually where the nearby town Notch got its name. People report the feeling of someone standing behind them when no one is there. Cold drafts in the calm parts of the cave where there should be no airflow at all, and cold spots. The cave is open to the public with purchase of a pass to Silver Dollar City. Although this park is filled with stories throughout the entire park, including the queue line collapse on the Lost River of the Ozarks ride, we will focus on one particular ride that is supposedly haunted. Yes, the notorious Fire in the Hole, indoor roller coaster or dark coaster as some call it. The ride was built in 1972 and still remains in operation today. The ride does, however, have a dark history. In July of the year 1980, Fire in the Hole took on a whole new sinister reputation. One passenger was killed on the infamous ride. The car he was riding in accidentally switched to a maintenance track toward the end of the ride. That operator mistake ended up sending him straight into the low clearance tunnel and straight into his doom. Clearly stated, there wasn't enough room for his upper body to clear the structure and as a result, he was fatally injured. Another woman passenger was injured as well, but not fatally. The ride was immediately shut down for a total of two days before reopening after safety measures were put into place to prevent another disaster. Fire in the hole is a very dark setting and people claim to pick up a mystery passenger halfway through the ride. In other words, what is an empty seat when they start gets filled somewhere on the ride only to be empty again when they enter the light at the end of the ride. Maintenance workers throughout the years have claimed to hear some distant screams when inspecting the track. There have been claims all around the cave and theme park by guests and workers of unexplained sounds, feelings, cold spots, voices, etc. 
I myself have not witnessed anything in the park, but it's always noisy and busy. I'm assuming that's why there is more reports from the staff than of the guests. If you are interested in checking out the theme park, I will have a link in the description below. As a side note, some paranormal experts state that some areas are more prone to paranormal activity than others for numerous reasons. This particular area rests on limestone and quartz, which some say amplifies this type of phenomenon. There is also countless underground caverns, some of which haven't even been discovered yet. Is that why there are so many paranormal claims in this region? That question may never be answered, but it is clear that something is definitely unique about this location. Again, I want to personally thank you for watching Branson's Top Haunted Places and ask that if you liked the video to smash that like button. Also, consider subscribing to the channel for more great upcoming content. Now, as always, good night, sleep tight from the Scary Stories channel.